hi dear friends how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back here to watch my videos i really appreciate much for your love and your support but if it's your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you'll find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload on this channel so dear friends in our today's video we are going to be having a story time of a ugandan lady by the name of brenda in her late 20s who got scammed 2.5 million ugandan shillings by a white guy she met on a dating app if you follow me on Instagram, I promised you guys that I will be coming with this story. Also on my YouTube community, I posted this story. I told you I'm going to be coming with a full story of what happened, how it happened. Because after posting those posts, everyone was coming up with their own idea, imagining of what could have happened. <laughs> yeah so it is better we get to talk about it so that you guys can get to learn yes i've been coming up with scamming stories to tell you guys learn 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 but unfortunately not everyone of you really pays attention when it comes to stories that are not success stories but from brenda's story you guys will really really learn a lot you'll keep on opening or shining your eyes so guys another thing is that brenda is my baby yes sadly because i've been guiding brenda from may 2023 and there is a time i did a video here i told you guys that yes even if you know my instagram account name you come to me we talk i agree that i'm going to be guiding you through it shouldn't be like oh yes now there is no need for me to watch bella's videos that is very very wrong and i've seen most of you doing that i talk to you if i ask you did you watch my yesterday's video no bella i did not watch it but at the same time you're asking me questions that is wrong guys it is very very wrong because even if i'm talking to you every day i can't give you all this information that i share here on youtube you know how my videos are long so that's really a lot of information that you guys should never ignore especially if you are on online dating apps searching another biggest mistake that brenda did and she admitted is that brenda was my under guidance she had my whatsapp number yes we used to communicate because of course i am guiding her through but when she started chatting with this white guy of a scammer never told me anything i didn't know anything at all for me guys i thought brenda was on a break because you know how searching for love online can be frustrating sometimes yes she could come to me bella what can i do here bella i feel so tired i give her words of encouragement and tell her go back i remember around december brenda came to me to ask for help help on choosing the right pictures to put on her online dating profile because she wanted to change and i helped her choose the pictures but after that brenda disappeared your girl was here thinking brenda is on a break but at that time when i was thinking she is on a break she wasn't on a break brenda was chatting with a british guy on online dating app and thinking that guy is serious thinking that guy is the one so she came to me after being scammed and to me guys it was all a surprise because i didn't know this girl was in contact with anyone on online dating apps so before i start telling you really what happened if you know you are my baby you came to me for guidance or you are planning to come to me for guidance please please you need to keep updating me never chat with any guy 
and keep quiet about it be like i will keep it as a secret and i'll tell bella when everything is wow when everything is a success so that we can bring that success story because that guy can sugarcoat you with sweet words can blind you you know telling you i love you but if you tell me i've got enough experience with these people i cannot be blinded i'll be able to help you out but i also insist keep watching the videos that i upload because towards end of november last year or december i posted lots of stories scamming stories and i saw comments people laughing being like i wonder people still get scammed on online dating apps like maybe my videos or scamming stories were useless because everyone is clever now they cannot be scammed but look now look at brenda's story this is a very very sad story guys and a disclaimer i know exist lots of other ladies who were scammed on online dating apps maybe on facebook on instagram when you hear me saying brenda did a mistake here she did a mistake here you will feel like i am trying to blame her no i am not trying to blame brenda but when a child does wrong of course you have to correct her or him tell her or tell him you went wrong here to help her open her eyes i know right now brenda is like for me dating apps done 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 for all that happened but who knows after healing after so many years passing if she will still be single maybe will not find anyone in real life decide to come back on online dating apps of course she has to shine her eyes because even when she was narrating this story to me there are some things she was telling me and i was like hmm this is really a red flag but her eyes are still closed so this is to help her and help you too that is on online dating apps even in real life guys because even in real life exist scammers yes this is the truth i've come across many <laughs> They keep coming with different tricks plus there is another reason to why i'm sharing this story with you you're going to find out at the end of this video so keep watching guys so dear friends what really happened because i know you are asking yourself that like i told you i don't know brenda was chatting with a guy on online dating apps my last time to hear brenda was on 25th December 2023. So, on 6, 2024, around 6 European time in the evening, I received Brenda's message on WhatsApp telling me, Bella, it has been a while. How are you? And I was like, I'm fine. How are you? She was like, Bella, I just got scammed. I was like, what? Got scammed? how so that is when brenda narrated to me the story of what really happened so brenda tells us around december last year 2023 received a message on international cupid from a british guy and when she received his message she was really really happy introduced herself you know <laughs> how you do it guys when you start chatting with a guy of course you have to introduce yourself tell the guy about you and that's when this guy started telling brenda about himself he said his name is william chambers from the uk no kids a widower lost his wife in a fatal accident actually the way this guy was writing oh my god you could feel the pain of this guy after losing his wife was telling brenda that i watched my wife in a pool of blood you know losing her life but i have healed i have moved on so assuring brenda do not worry i'm ready to be in a relationship and not only that guys he said he is a good christian he trusts in god and he told brenda i do not want to use the word of god to attract women no i want my character to speak imagine guys 
also he said of what he is looking for said he is looking for love regardless the color guys i am going to be reading the messages for you so that you guys can understand how these people can be manipulative yeah so listen guys to so this guy introduction to brenda thanks dear i am a staunch catholic and i'm god fearing man i do have my christian faith to credit for my life attitude and success however i don't use the name of god to attract women for my character speaks itself i'm not the type of a man who is focused entirely on himself i don't have any kids yet though i would like to have some with a righteous partner if god wishes but i have been married before sometimes in 2018 i lived happily with spencer a wonderful angel a wife any man would pray for but it is so sad to say she is no more i hate to say this but i lost her in a fatal accident i watched her lying dead in a pool of blood as much as i adore my wife the inevitable took her in one day and life suddenly turned from my table of great joy into terrible agony oh my god I want someone who will love me for me, regardless of age, distance, language barrier, cultural and religious differences, or material purpose, because I do believe love knows no barriers and is the conqueror of all things. Wow. <laughs> I imagine here Brenda was like, wow, I found the one. <laughs> I love kids and I treat all kids as if they are my own. I favor none but give my love and support to them and try to be the godly man I'm supposed to be. I am William Cho. Top is my family name. So guys, I'm going to tell you why William is saying that he loves kids. We have another shock, guys. Because this guy, I think, it was his game on online dating apps. Everything was planned. And they know what we love to hear. <laughs> they tell us exact things here. So William said that he has got an NGO in Jinja, Uganda. This NGO is a charity organization for the kids. Street kids or kids who are less advantaged and also sent a link to that NGO where that NGO is located in Jinja and asked her, I would be happy if you go and donate or visit. So he told her that he goes to Uganda one time a year because he's very, very busy. But at that NGO, there are some people helping him to take care of those kids. Listen to his words, guys talking about that NGO to Brenda. It is located in Jinja, which is situated in the eastern part of your country. And I would feel so pleased if you donate to and visited the kids at my charity organization there. I assigned a caretaker and a few other workers who are in charge of the kids welfare in my deficiency due to the distance so guys i know right now you're asking yourself did brenda go to that ngo in ginger no guys brenda did not go to that ngo she did not you know confirm if it's true or not and that's what that guy wanted it was just a test to see if brenda is a woman who takes information and investigate about them yeah that was his test and seeing that brenda did not care you know to find out about that ngo he kept on with his plan that is why i told you when you are on online dating apps keep your eyes wide open please please so guys the ngo name goes by the name of grassroot i'm going to put it here maybe you guys know about it maybe this ngo true exists but this guy has got nothing to do with that NGO. 
yeah because these people will go on google and start taking information start googling taking pictures and all that to make you believe if you're a lady who don't go so deep you know to find out things then you are going to fall into trouble because these people are very very clever they know how to choose their victims and once they start chatting with you, they know how to do their tests. I've been telling you, if you're chatting with a guy, if we need to know if he's serious or not, of course, I'll give you questions to ask a guy to know if he's serious or not. That's a test. So even these scammers, they come with their own tests to test you if you can fit to be their victim. So I asked Brenda, you chatted with this guy for two months, but in those two months, did you get a chance to talk maybe to his parents, his relatives, some of his friends? Brenda said no, cause William told her that he is the only child. And if you are Tim Bella, if you've been watching all my videos, if you are a Bella baby, I know right now you are saying Bella, that's a red flag when a guy says that he is the only child because in all stories I brought here, scamming stories, these guys are the only child. <laughs> yeah, it's him and his parents. Even some don't have parents. They tell you I am alone in this world. <laughs> So even on William's case, he is the only child. His parents are still alive, but they live in a different city and William lives alone. So Brenda only got the photos of William's parents. Because I asked Brenda so many times, are you sure you were chatting to the same William in the photos? Yes, I was chatting with him. I was talking with him on a video call for those two months yes he is a white guy so another thing in his introduction before i forget he said that he was inspired by one of his friends who got married to a ugandan lady and after that he was like yes i also want to look for a ugandan wife then went on online dating apps and that's how he came across Brenda. <laughs> also, he talked of dating a lady by the name of Brenda, but things did not work out and he was like, I have moved on. So I'm going to be putting the message here so that you can read it. I recently on my Instagram I posted an interracial couple and I asked you guys if you know about them please let me know. This is all to help Brenda. Maybe that couple truly exists so that we can, you know, cause show me your friend, I tell who you are. If really this couple is a friend to William, then they are in this together. But unfortunately, no one has said they know the couple. Oh my God, this online dating thing is something else. If you are not careful, please, dear beautiful ladies, I don't know how I should talk to you, really, so that you can understand me. But I'm very, very thankful that exist ladies that really listen to me. <laughs> I've got two friends. Yes, they are my babies. One is called Evelyn. She is in Dubai. And another one is called Vivian. Yeah. These ladies have been followed by the scammers, but all the time the scammers approach them, they come to me running, Bella, look at this. And now they know if a guy is a scammer, they know. <laughs> They come laughing and say, Bella, oh my God, if it wasn't for you, these guys could have scammed me. But right now, they cannot. I'm just laughing at them. I simply tell them, you are a scammer. And they're like, what? I'm a scammer? I'm not a scammer. <laughs> so I'm going to post another photo. is a scammer are you sure oh you just took his photo somewhere she was like no bella i talked to him on a video call and he was in bed this morning i screenshotted him so she sent me a screenshot of that guy he is the same same guy in the photo is be very very careful 
follow online dating rules. I repeat. So everything kept on going super good. <laughs> Brenda was so happy and thought she has found the one because this guy was so consistent. Every day he could call Brenda, they could talk on a video call, he could send videos of him at work, he could send videos of him at the gym, at home. All the time, the guy was in contact with Brenda. Brenda tells us she could talk with this guy, even her friends knew about William, yes, because he was always there. <laughs> So after talking to Brenda for one month, William told her that he's planning to come to Uganda November this year. And when he comes to Uganda, he is going to engage her. Brenda was so happy and he was supposed to stay for one month. So dear sisters, I advise you something but still, I see it. I see it, guys, because I chat with you. I talk with you guys. I told you when you're chatting with a guy, then he starts suggesting that. He wants to come to your country. I don't know to get married to you. I don't know to engage you. I don't know to meet you. <laughs> For the first time, it's okay. That's good. It's a good plan. But you as a woman, because of course, you have to protect yourself have to keep your eyes wide open and if you decided to join online dating apps then you should be in with your two legs stop this thing of i'm in i'm out i am in i am out like you are not serious you know about dating apps that is what is killing you that is what is making you guys not succeed that is what is making you guys come across scammers like this guy you have to take this thing serious if you have really decided to be on online dating apps. Serious how? Chat with a guy, follow the rules. Please, please. I give you a tip. When this guy comes and is like, I want to come to Uganda to see you. I want to come to, I don't know, South Africa to see you. Show him my love, oh baby. Because at that time, you guys are babying each other. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what do you think? If I be the one to first come to you, should we start the visa process? Are you ready to do this with me? And see what this guy is going to respond. If he tells you, yes, that's okay with me. And maybe you see him telling you, I've been to an immigration office. I'm doing this. Going through the invitation process, know that. That guy is really serious and has got nothing to hide from you. But if you tell him and you start seeing him, oh, I don't know, it is so difficult, you know, people from Africa to get a visa to my country, it's going to be almost impossible. <laughs> Girl, just know that you are in trouble. Take my words. But then, because this is just a test, after seeing him, he's serious, really taking actions to invite you. Tell him, oh my God, something came up. I cannot come. Can you please be the one to come? I'm so, so sorry, you know. But you have cleared your doubts. The guy has passed the exam, the first one. Because <laughs> you will keep on testing him. And I'm very, very sure in Brenda's case, if Brenda brought up this question, like, I want to be the one to come to the UK, you know, to visit you first before you come here, this guy could have ghosted her or he could have come up with lots of excuses. And when a guy comes up with excuses, you have got the answer. You block the guy and move forward. But Brenda, after hearing this guy, will be going to Uganda to meet her, eventually engage her. She was so happy and said, yes, my love, I can't wait to meet you. So guys, the relationship kept on going and Brenda was at peace. But at that time, Bella was in the dark, didn't know anything. So, as the relationship was keeping on going, on 5th February this year, 2024, it was on Monday, William called Brenda. 
on WhatsApp video call because you know the relationship had matured so they left the app and came to WhatsApp so all the communication they were doing it on WhatsApp yeah so he called on a video call and when Brenda picked the call she was not seeing William and William too was complaining that I cannot see you. So Brenda was so surprised. We have been making video call with this guy. Why is that we cannot see each other today? I've been using same same phone. Then Brenda was like, maybe it's due to network. And William said, no, I don't think it is due to network. Maybe there is an incompatibility because I am using my laptop and it is a MacBook Air. So I think it is incompatible with your phone you need a macbook air too brenda was like no i don't have that kind of money to buy a macbook air then william said don't worry my love i am going to buy for you that macbook air what you need to do go do a research and get to know how much it costs so i'm going to take you again back to the messages to read them for you because I want you guys to understand very very well this story how it went step by step so yes guys he told her go make some inquiries to know how much a MacBook Air I want an original one <laughs> how much it costs in Ugandan shillings so that I can send you that money because I really want us to keep seeing each other on a video call so yes brenda tells us she had lots of friends you know who work in it you know and they recommended to her the stores to go and check <laughs> to know the price of macbook air she did all that and when she returned told william so i found out that it will cost five millions ugandan shillings and william was like okay no problem i am going to send you 1350 pounds so you will buy your macbook air and the remaining money will be your upkeep so this is brenda let me inquire first about the cost and get back to you please i'm waiting for your feedback dear this is william so brenda came back so i am back i have tried inquiring from different online stores the least one can get is roughly five million ugandan shillings so william asked how much is the price when converted to great britain's pound currency brenda responded let me use google and see william okay i'm going to send you only 1350 great britain pounds now make sure that you purchase a legitimate macbook air that is very effective and efficiency he is pleasing her please please make sure that you install whatsapp web immediately after you have purchased the macbook air continues william don't forget to keep some money for your upkeep brenda responds oh my goodness my eyes you know she's crying for happiness so now william tells her you need a bank account a european bank account do you have one and brenda tells him no i don't have one why can't you use western union moneygram you know world remit let us hear his response so guys this is william eh? darling i would have sent you money through other services like western union sendwave world remit cheaper cash and other remittances but the bank account that i hold with abca bank here is on fixed deposit policy he continues so i only make transactions when nine months have passed that is why i decided to hold an online international premium pound account with the european bank you should follow my lead and open up an online pound account with european bank now he continues the bank account you are to open up is an online pound account that can be opened up for you online from any location 
continues and i am sure that it will only take less than 10 minutes when they have already proceeded it continues she said noted you should contact the european bank and ask them to open up for you an online international intermediate pounds account now you should also ask them to link up the account that they have opened up for us to your mobile wallet access it continues she says noted <laughs> oh my god oh my god such that you can be able to withdraw instantly using your mobile cell phone all right my love brenda responds you should just forward me your account details immediately after they have been processed brenda responds yes please still on hold though maybe it takes late so guys the instructions continues from william to brenda you should forward the verification code because brenda yes followed all the instructions and opened up that european bank account you should forward the verification code in that bank deposit notification to the bankers who are working upon us on that side for confirmation brenda responds oh noted he continues you are also entitled to submit in a clearance tax of only 160 pounds to the bankers on that side then brenda responds that will be tomorrow morning does it have an expiry time it's coming to midnight already he responds such that they can do for you a mobile transfer wiring system process withdraw our fund now he continues it's fine babe it has no expiry because she asked if it has got an expiry he continues brenda responds all right honey be safe oh my god i wish you knew girl so here is william but please make sure that you keep me posted immediately after accessing the funds on your mobile wallet access brenda responds sure i will honey then william responds again because i would like to close my bank account immediately after you have accessed the funds then william responds thanks love i appreciate your allegiances so much let me ask my bank manager here to press our transaction on pending then i get back home so yes guys brenda sleeps and waking up in the morning finds lots of messages from that european intermediate bank that she opened that william sent money and it was a lot of money guys <laughs> lots of money because approximately what he was supposed to send in ugandan shillings it was supposed to be seven millions ugandan shillings so here is the message from william honey does it mean that i sent a lot of money when converted to your currency a moment please allow me first to get to my bank manager's office and inquire about it now a moment babe so this is brenda's response huh? no when he asked honey does it mean that i have sent a lot of money when converted to your currency no brenda responds no the limit per withdrawal is 5 million ugandan shillings on mtn mobile network and 7 million ugandan shillings on airtel network so there is a limit of withdrawal in a single day then she responds also when he said he's going to the bank manager's office she says all right my love a moment my love this is william it's okay honey brenda so friends i've told you already what happened after brenda opening that european intermediate bank account that she was told to open by william when she opened that bank account 
she received loads of message the transactions that were done by William and because on that website of that bank William told her you will find the phone numbers of people who work in that bank that will assist you so brenda took that phone number there and then contacted you know the bank teller <laughs> and these are the messages from the bank the bank teller hi dear client this is teller one okay edward at your services good morning once again and i know where they were guys they were laughing a lot very very sad so they asked her you need to submit the following credentials so guys i'm going to put it here so that you can see how these people are playing games on brenda poor girl mm. guys so after contacting the bank teller remember she had paid 182,000 ugandan shillings to open that bank account so after opening it and then seeing all those transactions had to contact that bank teller to withdraw her money so the bank teller told her that for you to withdraw that money you first need to pay the tax and the tax it was something like 800,000 ugandan shillings so brenda had to borrow money from her friends and pay that tax so after paying that tax now she's waiting the money to be withdrawn so that she can take that 800,000 ugandan shillings that she borrowed from her friend refund it to the friend and of course buy a macbook air the remaining money you know enjoy herself so that man that works at the bank at that european intermediate bank told her that oops this oops guys i've added it to myself <laughs> william has sent more than 7 million ugandan shillings so cuz she was supposed to withdraw the money using her mtn number cuz she connected it to the bank they told her you can't the money is a lot you need to give us another number maybe an airtel number so that you can withdraw the money too using your airtel number you guys that are not from africa guys in most african countries we use mobile money you can deposit and withdraw money through your mobile line only that the person should know your phone numbers so that he or she can send you the money <laughs> to that line and then you withdraw it yeah and every mobile money or every number is registered with the name that's the system that in most african countries we use so don't get confused so brenda connected her phone number to that bank that William recommended to her to open an account there so that when the money comes in it will be sent to her mobile money but the messages that she received at night that William deposited money they were from the bank but straight to her phone that european intermediate bank straight to her phone so the money had not yet you know gone to her mobile money not at all at that time so after telling her that she needs to provide another phone number of a different phone company she had to give an airtel phone number but after giving airtel phone number they told her like we told you the money is a lot you have to pay more tax so guys let me take you back again so that you can listen to edward's messages explaining to brenda cause he is a bank teller and he's so experienced you know in all this welcoming a new customer oh my god guys this is really really sad good evening once again madam brenda let us hope that you received the notification alerting you about your intermediate pounds account details let us hope that uh, you've received the notification via sms on the very number that we've just linked your intermediate pounds account alerting you about your intermediate pounds account details because i'm just from the transaction room 
and by the time I left the transaction room, the system was reflecting that it has already registered your intermediate pounds account successfully. So in case you've received any notification alerting you about your intermediate pounds account details, just feel free to forward your account number to any person anticipating to send you money. Uh, because your account is working right now, so you can do transactions on it. Yes, please. And always our intermediate pounds account numbers start with a triple zero. So just feel free to forward your account details to any person that would do, uh, would like to be doing a transaction on your account because it is operating right now. Thanks for choosing our services and may you please recommend more clients to use our services. For the sake of the password, it is the same mobile money pin code which you always use. So the very number which we have just linked to your intermediate pounds account. So the same mobile money pin code that you always use on that number, it is the same as your in intermediate pounds account password. It doesn't change. The same mobile money pin code which you always use on the very number that we have just linked to your account is the same as your uh, intermediate pounds account password, Madam Brand. Hmm. So he comes back again, eh? Morning, once again, Madam Brenda. This is Edward. Like to brief you shortly. Okay, allow me to brief. Uh, like to brief you shortly how the procedure is when they send money to your intermediate pounds account let me brief you on what to do when they have sent money to your intermediate pounds account madam brenda so when they send money to your intermediate pounds account madam brenda you're supposed to be receiving what we call a bank deposit notification when they send money to your account to your intermediate pounds account you're supposed to be receiving what we call a bank deposit notification madam brenda within that bank deposit notification there is always what we call a verification code you're supposed to be receiving the bank deposit notification via sms on the very number which we linked to your account just like you received a notification alerting about your intermediate pounds account details so the same way they send money to your like when they send money to your account you're supposed to also be receiving what we call a very like a bank deposit notification and within bank that bank deposit notification always there is what we call a verification code madam brenda madam brenda your dividing code has successfully activated but your sender hasn't uh, authenticated the transaction yet your sender should authenticate the transaction right now ask your sender to authenticate the transaction in order for you to withdraw you should ask your sender to authenticate the transaction such that you are able to receive the funds on your mobile money numbers because your dividing code has been activated fully. Please, you should ask your sender to authenticate the transaction right now. Your sender should authenticate the transaction. Let me give an example what is meant by the authentication process. I can give an example when you want to be withdrawing money from a mobile money agent. Uh, if I told you using MTN, you're supposed to be uh, reading your number to the uh, MTN mobile money agent and then they initiate. Then if I told you using Airtel, you're supposed to be initiating from your very Airtel mobile money number. Then you read the secret code to the uh, Airtel mobile money mobile money agent in order to withdraw the money. So, in brief, the authentication process is like initiating. In brief, it is like initiating. Please ask your sender to initiate the transaction right now or to authenticate the transaction because your dividing code has been activated successfully. So you should ask your sender to initiate the transaction. So guys, do you feel the pressure? From William, there is lots of pressure, you know, since last night. Like he's giving lots of instructions and it's all on pressure. You hear this stupid guy by the name of Edward is also pressuring. It is pressure, pressure, pressure. When you hear someone is pressuring you to do something, just know that something is off, okay? Follow online dating rules. A man who brings money talks, that's a no. So in the first place, hearing this guy talking about money, open a bank account, that was a red flag that Brenda was supposed to not. Oh my God, she just closed her eyes and I really, really don't know 
what happened to her so when brenda was told about paying the money and all that of course you know that woman's intuition and started telling her mm, maybe something is not right but she did not want to me to ask me had to go to william and ask him because he's the one that told her to open that bank account so these are his response darling the authentication charges are different from the dividing code payment but the good thing is that they are all refundable i assure you honey hmm, you only have to activate your authentication code to access the funds Keep calm, my love. You just have to activate your authentication code with £400 and that's all. Come on, honey. Why are you talking like that? Do you think that I can send my money through a bank service which I have never used? And the other issue is that I can never send money or recommend you to any bank service which I don't trust. It's just a matter of activating your authentication code and that's all. You feel the pressure, guys. Do you feel the pressure? So after telling her that she needs to provide another phone number, she had to give an Airtel phone number. But after giving Airtel phone number, they told her, like we told you the money is a lot, you have to pay more tax, which was 1,500,000 something. You know, I'm going to be showing it here because she screenshotted a piece of a paper of how she was sending that money. So she had to borrow again money from another friend who works for a different company. And I think that friend had a job that works with money because having all that money ready, it's not something, you know, easy, especially in Africa, if you have just a normal job. Yeah. So the friend took the company's money and gave it to Brenda. Brenda had to send it to the tailor, the number that she was given, and it was the number of the tailor goes by the name of Edward. Yeah. But when I was talking to Brenda, said Bella, I trusted this guy. And that's wrong. I've been telling you in my videos, never trust any guy on online dating apps until you see the actions. Not someone telling you I've sent you the money that you are not seeing. But another thing I told you guys, we should always avoid liking free things. Yes, this is the bitter truth. Avoid, avoid liking free things from strangers because you have never met this guy at all at all why would this guy that never met you send you five million send you 10 million ugandan shillings for what but if he wants to send then he should use other means that you are not supposed to put even a single coin into it if he insists on sending you that money but for us on our side we should avoid being tempted because this will cause us tears like how brenda is crying now so yes guys after brenda sending all that money expecting that she is going to be withdrawing the money that william sent they blocked her oh my god and after blocking her, that's when she realized that it was a scam. Had to call Airtel. Airtel told her that the money has been withdrawn. And when she went to investigate to find out why she was receiving those messages of successful transaction that the money has been deposited into the bank account that she opened, the European Intermediate Bank account, then she got an answer that those were just generated messages tells us she doesn't know how they do it but those messages were fake i'm going to put the messages here too so that you can see them also want you guys to listen to some of few messages from brenda yes like yeah it was everything was online better so my friends were sending on my mtn number then i was sending the mtn I was sending the money on that Airtel number you are seeing on the, the first screenshot I sent you having an idea of that guy on the procedure. There's a procedure and there is an Airtel number they were telling me to send the money on. Mm. In name to Christopher Kunon. The 
and it was an airtel number so when i noticed that this is come i went to an airtel center to broke the money unfortunately the money had already been withdrawn so that is how i was sending the money like from my mtn line to that airtel number they shared yes so guys i've also got one voice note from the so-called william and for me he doesn't sound british he sounds somewhat like american listen to it and tell me in the comment section below what do you think so in this voice note he was talking about the ngo that i told you about this organization especially is helping young kids and teenagers and people who are like you and I, most at risk of being bullied in those formative years. Okay, let's play it again. This organization especially is helping young kids and teenagers and people who are like you and I, most at risk of being bullied in those formative years. So guys, I had told you this before. These scammers, when they are talking with you, and you know the relationship is between you and him and then he starts talking of money things or maybe he wants to send you a package a gift to you but he tells you that he won't send it directly to the shipping company no there is a friend you know a third person in between just know that that's a scammer for example here it was between william and brenda but edward came in between that's a third person and that's how they do it you know so that you don't suspect them after all you are talking with the third person for me it happened to me in the past with someone that i really know we are not even in a relationship or anything to talk about love not at all actually was my colleague but long time colleague and came with a story then started telling me there is a friend of him he's going to connect me to him so that we can talk you know there is a business we have to do for him he's very far so i should communicate with a friend but guys i was clever <laughs> also i told my friend that there is one two three four and my friend was like mm, <laughs> i sense scam so what i decided to do i told that guy i don't have any money with me yes i would like to do that business with you it is really a good deal but i don't have any money he started telling me can't you go and borrow from someone i told him i don't have anyone to borrow me the money and that's when he blocked me <laughs> so when you see a third person is coming in between i told you when you hear money talks run but you decide to tap your ears and keep on chatting with a the guy then if he tells you send me money or you need to give this money to get this tell the guy i don't have any money with me and see if that guy will keep on the relationship with you he won't because his relationship is based on money because you people get blinded oh the guy is not asking for nude photos you know so i'm going to go ahead and keep on chatting with him he's such a good guy he's a sweet guy calling you honey my love <laughs> hey guys the truth is you who have found love online especially with white guys <laughs> most of them don't run to start calling you sweet names you'll see messages are very very dry they can say i like you they won't even run to say i love you some of them you know to make it a bit romantic they will call you dear they will never go to an extent of calling you honey my love darling sweetheart when you see all that, that is love bombing. He is, you know, sweetening you up <laughs> so that he can easily manipulate you. You see, they chatted for two good months, never asked for nude photos or anything like that. Again, guys, don't close your eyes. Watch them the red flags because this whole thing is full of red flags from the start i'm not blaming brenda guys yes what she did is a very big mistake avoiding watching my videos and not updating me that she was chatting with a guy a guy that was telling her that open a bank account a guy that was talking of money talks 
that was really really wrong so let's learn guys from this story as i'm telling you guys brenda is depressed oh my god this lady is broken because she doesn't know where to get that money to pay back to the friends so that the friends can replace that company's money last time i talked to her she was like bella i don't deserve to leave i think i should just i'm just a poor lady you know trying to make a living and all this is happening to me to ruin my life guys i felt really really sorry and at the moment she told me she got scammed oh my god i felt so bad i was in a shock my husband kept on telling me what is going on you're scaring me and later i told him what had happened and the last last tip that i can give to you guys when you are on online dating apps chatting with these guys learn to be mean protect your finances yes this is very very important don't just easily give your money out the money that you really work hard for another thing guys be strict i've seen lots of comments some of you saying oh my god bella maybe i'm too strict you are not too strict girl no you have to look into things all the things the guy is telling you so carefully details to details because when william was proposing that brenda should open a bank account you can see how he mentioned all sending money services oh my god almost all what does that tell you something is off <laughs> This guy cannot know all those sending money services. No, he can't. <laughs> Unless he is into something very illegal. Yeah, so please, let's not ignore anything in a guy's conversation so guys when i started this video i told you that there is another reason to why i did this video so brenda requested me guys i never thought of sitting here on my channel to do this but i had to do it due to how the situation is so, so brenda is kindly requesting you you who is watching this video if you felt touched with this story to help her with anything Thing. i've got her phone numbers her bank account if you guys can contribute anything help her out to pay that money that she borrowed from her friends because her friends are in trouble they might even lose their jobs because the money is needed and the money is nowhere to be seen so guys this is just a request to anyone who will feel like helping brenda so guys thank you so much for watching this video till now i really appreciate much god bless you please please like this video give it a thumbs up if you have liked it, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video. Please comment below what do you think about this video and don't forget to subscribe. Please, please join the family and thank you for subscribing. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You are always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.